And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Chicago White Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab in this one, Michael Kopech. What should we keep an eye on here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Now it's the right fielder, number 40. And a ball and two strikes. Down the line towards the corner. Number 22 moving to his left. And there's one down. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Next offering is down low. Two and one. The pitch. In the air, out towards left center. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that's the third out. And the Cubs are down in order. Time for the White Sox to go to work. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at the ballpark. And on the hill, Kyle Hendricks. What do we have on him? Well, you don't always know what to expect with this guy on the mound to start the game. He can be really good at times and turn in some real excellent efforts. For me, it'll tell us a lot to see how he's attacking the strike zone and pitching aggressively or not. If he's doing that from the jump, I think he'll be fine in this one. Here's Tim Anderson. You know, Chris, Kyle Hendricks went to Dartmouth, so he's known as the professor, but his teammates on the Cubs actually call him Carl. His good friend and former bullpen coach of the Cubs, Chad Noble, came up with that nickname and it stuck for whatever reason so you'll hear them on the field saying come on Carl right hander kicks deals to third Mastroboni whips it to first and yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out take a look at the lineup they're dealing with a sicker specialist on the mound which can be a big time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer, but when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. Here's a one-two. Up the middle. Throws to first. And Benintendi is out. Batting third. The center fielder. Luis. Robert. Two outs. Base is empty. And now it's Luis Robert. Big time power. Here's a 2 1. And a swing and a miss there. Two strikes.
Ground ball up the middle. Throws it away. Oh, that's a dangerous throw for the first baseman to try to handle right there. Exposed him to a potential collision, and we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. Eloy Jimenez now. Out there to center. Bellinger drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. We head to the second on the south side. No score. And welcome back. Leading now it's the, the DH, Seiya Suzuki. Seiya uh, Suzuki. Right side, Andrews. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Batting fifth, the center fielder, number 24, Cody Bellinger. One down, here comes Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger, no stranger to the big stage. He played in the 2007 Little League World Series. He's the 14th player ever to play in both the Little League World Series and the Major League World Series. Oh. In time to Vaughn. Two up, two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. No score here in the second. Next offering way upstairs. And there's ball four. Not a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Trey Mancini now. And now two and one. Two balls, one strike. Swanson, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Kicks and deals. Rudder takes off in the dirt blocked. Catcher has it, fires the first. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him, and that's that. One left for the Cubs. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back at guaranteed rate field. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now at the plate, Jake Berger. That's hard hit in the line. Hat makes the catch, and there's one gone. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, that but sometimes good. you hit it too hard and face right face. at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Oh. Andrew Vaughn now. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. One, two now. The other way. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. On the ground a second, might be two. And that chance handled. Slings to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there.
swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. New inning getting started. Here's Jan Gomes. The catcher, Jan Gomes. Jan Gomes waits. Three. Got him. And one away. Miles Mastroboni now at the plate. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And there's two down. Now batting. Number 40. Back to the top of the lineup. Number 40. The next Cub to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Top of the third. No score. Oh. Next pitch misses. And it's two and one. That nope. one missed. Okay. The wind of the pitch. ball to the right side sends it to first and it's a one two three inning so they go quietly there we move on to the bottom of inning number three we're tied nothing nothing bottom of the inning here's Elvis Andrews the second baseman Elvis Andrews and the pitch Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Bellinger makes the grab one away. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Stepping in. Tim. The White Sox leadoff man. Anderson. Tim Anderson. Grounded out his first time up. A moment everyone thinks of with Tim Anderson is the walk-off homer he hit in the inaugural Field of Dreams game in 2021. That felt like a movie. Yeah, and it was a movie that Tim Anderson had never seen. Bellinger pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now batting, left fielder, Andrew. Benintendi up here. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. And a pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Toss to Mancini. Oh. And Benintendi is out. And that is the inning. Shy Sox held in check here. And we are still scoreless. Back here on the south side, here's Nico Horner. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid-80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Brings it in, and there's one down. The left fielder, number eight, Ian Happ. Ian Happ up to hit. He's 0 for 1. And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Relay throw to third. Not in time. He's safe. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So one gone with a runner at third. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Righty delivers. Pop dump. Vaughn on the move. Makes the catch for the out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's Cody Bellinger. Grounded out his first time. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a foul straight back. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Here's a one-two. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. One hit, one left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. For Luis Robert now. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The count two and one. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one is going to go. Luis Robert hits one out. And the White Sox jump out in front. It's one nothing. he wanted to hit spent on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off here's Aloy Jimenez flied out his first time this to third toss to Mancini and that's the first out nice recovery after giving now up the batting. homer third here's the third baseman Jake Berger he's Berger. 0 for 1 and he deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook number pitching. Three, get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Ball to strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Fly ball to right. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Dansby Swanson. Next pitch in the dirt. And a count two and one. Hit hard, should be extra bases. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field.
Trey Mancini, the next Cub to hit. The pitch. Tosses across the first. One away here in the fifth. The bat. The catcher. Jan Gomes. Now it's Jan Gomes. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swanson, the runner at second with one away. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And the righty deals. Back up the... Oh, that got him! Tosses to first, and Gomes is retired. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, that's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Now, Miles Mastroboni. One one now. And it's fouled away. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Two outs. On the ground, right side. Andrews throws the first. That's out number three. So one hit is all they get. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the White Sox one and the Cubs nothing. We head to the Leading bottom of the fifth. The Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Yasmani Grandal. To the right side, corner. The underhand flip. He's that out. takes care of Grandal. Now batting, the right fielder, Oscar Colas. Number 22 will hit next. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Tapped softly on the ground. Over to first. Oh. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Number one, second baseman, Elvis. Now it's the Andrews. second baseman, Elvis Andrews. Flied out to center in his first at bat. Here comes a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This is... Got him swinging. Snuck the fastball by him. Down in order go the White Sox. But they're on top, one nothing. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now number 40. That one in for a strike, two and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Liner. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. The throw to second is offline. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat.
Nico Horner, the next to hit. And now two and two. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. In plenty of time to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. And next for the Cubs, Ian Happ. One for two. Lined, and that's a base hit. Runner around third. Here comes the throw. But the run scores, and that makes it a 1-1 game. Now batting, the designated hitter, say, uh, And now the DH, Seiya Suzuki. And the 3-1. And there's the strike. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Out to short. Not in time, he legs it out. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Michael Kopech is done, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. New pitcher for the White Sox, Tuki Toussaint. Now pitching for the White Sox, number 47. Two outs, runner at first. Cody Bellinger digs in now. And a 1-1. Well struck left field. That one back. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. The run scores all the way from first. It's 2-1. He's in there. Well done. Drives in the run. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing. Nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. That's to third. Fires across the diamond, and Swanson is set down. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Cubs two, and the White Sox one. Bottom of the sixth Here inning. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Tim shot. Anderson. The line to kick the pitch. There's a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. Caught him looking for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. The left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. The pitch. Ground ball right side and foul ball. When you look at Benintendi, think about this. He played in the same conference as both Alex Bregman and Dansby Swanson. Those two guys picked ahead of him in the first round, but it was Benintendi who was the SEC Player of the Year the year they all got drafted. Yeah, uh, the organization clearly saw something special in this kid as a prospect, and it's paid off nicely. On the ground to the left. Throw sails over his head at first. 
And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. Well, that's a dangerous throw for the first baseman to try to handle right there. Exposed him to a potential collision, and we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. And here is Luis Robert. Fly ball down the line. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Up next for the White Sox, the designated hitter. Stepping in, Aloy Jimenez. Benintendi on its second with two down. Line drive. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So a man left for the White Sox, and our score remains 2-1. Here on the south side, we go to the top of the seventh, and now the first baseman, Trey Mancini. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now it's going to be Jan Gomes. Swing and a miss. One and two. Hit on the ground might be two. To second, that's one. Relay to first, double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. So digging in, Miles Mastroboni. The one one. And that's in the dirt. And that one ripped to left. Fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in there standing up with a two out double. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Number 40, the next Cub to hit. One for three. On the ground to third. And that will end the inning. Cubs lead one, but they still lead it two to one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Julian Merriweather. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Well, one run game. Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Well, you can't offer it that pitch in an 0 0 count. It's a strike, but not every strike is a good strike early in the count. And it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning.
always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now here is Andrew Vaughn. The 1-1, runner on the go. That's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw to third. Throw comes back in. The tying run stops at third with nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a run. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. In the air, left field. Hat makes the play. Runner tags for home. To the plate. Safe. And we are tied. Productive at that for sure right there. Nice sack fly. Ties up the ball game. And now they've got to look for a way to go ahead. Number 22 steps to the plate for the White Sox. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. The 1-1 is fouled off. And a pitch. Grounder off the pitcher. Toss to Mancini. Now two out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled Back. over it. Got the ground ball. Second baseman. Elvis. Here's the second baseman. Elvis Andrews. Andrews. Here's a 1-1. And there's a hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Safe. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tim Anderson. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Over to Swanson. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the White Sox three and the Cubs two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ronaldo Lopez. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's a 1-1. That's a base hit. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now it's going to be Ian Happ. Good contact guy, good defender. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Lopez throws the first. Horner gets back easily. And now two and two with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Horner gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Bounce to third. Berger to second. On the ball. Two. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Definitely one of the bigger ones in this game. So that double play is going to be one we look back on when this thing is over. Big time execution both on the mound and in the field to get two right there. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. Next offering is in for a strike. Two.
Two down, nobody on. And that's downstairs and outside. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. The tying run at the plate. And now it's filled up. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a bouncer. Whips it to first on the run. And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the White Sox three and the Cubs two. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Mark Leiter Jr. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. You know, these White Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Up next for Chicago. And next to hit for the Sox, Luis Robert. He's already homered in this game. Rip to third. Toss to Mancini, and they take care of Robert for the out. Fastball grooved right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Aloy Jimenez. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back there. And that one is out of here. Aloy Jimenez leaves the yard, and they add to the lead. It's 4-2. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. Now here is Jake Berger. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Battling here as he fouls it away. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Aloy Jimenez helps out the pale holes with this big swing. Last chance coming up for the Cubbies. On the mound now, Kendall Graveman. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity wise and up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger the 3 2 is off the outside edge and that is ball four what a battle it's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch and I tell you what he earned that walk Dansby Swanson stands in Graveman checks the runner back in there standing. Bellinger on at first. Nobody out. That one misses. And the count's even at two. And here it comes. And he grounds one to the right side. Over to Anderson. And that's two. 
Well, that's a huge ball in play to get the double play defensively. Just one more guy to get this save for the closer. So they're down to their final out. Trey Mancini getting ready to hit. Just one strike away. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Next to hit, Jan Gomes. Swing and a miss. Out to short, Anderson, and that'll do it. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us.